Hi friends, this is Natalie, and if you are new here, I'm an embroidery artist from Ukraine, and this is my fundraising stitching along. And I'm happy to let you know, guys, that we already raised more than $2,500 for Ukraine. So thank you so much for donating and joining. And in today's video, I will be talking about Ukrainian flag. I will explain a little bit about the meaning behind the colors and how to fill the part with this heart shape and letters. Ukraine is popularly known as breadbasket of the Europe and many other countries. As a result, the official colors are blue and yellow. Blue represents the sky, streams of Ukraine and mountains. Yellow symbolizes wheat. For me, it also looks like a field of sunflowers and oil seed rape. Additionally, blue also symbolizes peace and yellow represents prosperity. Those videos are from the south of Ukraine, where I am from. You can see the endless steps of wheat, sunflower and oil seed. I painted the shape of heart using a special acrylic paint for textile. I used Ukrainian brand Rosa. This paint is permanent and washable. I like how it lays down on the fabric, it gives me a nice solid background and the color is uniform and saturated. It's just what I wanted for this project. This paint is not available abroad yet, but I hope after the war more products from this brand will be available on international online platforms. You can replace it with your local paint, I link them in the video description below. Then I filled the letters with French knots. I used three strands of white threads and wrap it one time. You can also use two strands and wrap two times and you will get the same size of knots. It creates a nice volume effect and I like to touch it. But if you don't like French knots, you can fill this head in a completely different way. Just use your imagination. I'm so glad that a lot of you already started stitching this embroidery design and sharing your progress with me. And I saw a lot of different interesting ways how to fill this part. And I like them all. Here are some of your projects. I like the idea of negative space. You can fill the background using satin stitch like this and outline the shape of letters. And those red colors are perfect for the Ukrainian flag. Here is another example of satin stitch. The direction of stitches is different here, but it also looks nice. And here is the brick stitch feeling. I guess there are six turns of loss, looks nice and simple. I'm also in love in this option with glitter felt. How sparkling is it? I even know that someone is going to fill the heart with the beads. It's definitely going to look gorgeous too. And look at this work of art. It's coloring using watercolor pencils and then outlined with threads. And voila, the project is done. I think this is the fastest way and perfect for complete beginners. If you don't have any experience in the embroidery at all or not confident in satin stitch and long and short shading, so this is your option. So that's it for today's video. I hope you like it, the story about the Ukrainian flag, and I can't wait to see your progress. Please use this hashtag Peace for Ukraine Stitch Along and tag me in your post so I will see it and share it in my stories. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!